Hello, everybody, and welcome to Navigation 101, presented by Tau Search and Rescue. In this video, we're going to discuss triangulation, and triangulation is how you locate yourself on a map, given that you only have a compass. Now, in this day and age, we can locate ourselves quite easily with GPS units. However, this is a very handy skill to know, and it's very good to know how to locate yourself using just a compass. Okay, so... The very first thing we need to do is identify a couple of landmarks. I have A and B that you are familiar with in the area and that you know where their location is on a map. So for example, here in New Mexico, I've been here enough to know that Middle Truchas Peak, I know what it looks like. And I also know what Hickorita Peak looks like. Okay, so I can identify those landmarks and I can also point them out on the map However, I just don't know where I am in this vicinity. So now that I have two landmarks identified, we will go on to step one here. And we're gonna take two or more bearings with my compass to the known landmarks. Okay. Now, I took a couple bearings here and my bearing to point A was 135 degrees true. Now I'm referencing everything to true in this video. Uh, in reality, you would take your bearing with your compass, which is a magnetic bearing, and convert it to a true bearing. However, I'm not going to cover that in this video. Please refer to the magnetic declination video on how to do that. Just for the sake of this example, I'm going to use true bearings. Okay? So my true bearing to point A was 135 degrees. My true bearing to point B was 90 degrees. Okay? So now I have those two bearings will keep those handy. The next thing we want to do is calculate what's called the back bearing. And the back bearing is essentially the complete opposite direction of these bearings. And essentially what that is, is it's the 180 degree offset. So it's just 180 degrees around going the exact opposite direction of your bearing. Okay. So to calculate that, it's fairly simple. We'll go ahead Calculate A, B, B, back bearing, is gonna equal 135 degrees, which I took here earlier. And I'm gonna add 180 to that. And that's gonna equal 315 degrees. <clears throat> okay, my back bearing for point B is gonna equal 90, which I took earlier, plus 180, and that's gonna equal 270 degrees. Okay. Now these here are the two bearings that I'm going to now plot on my map. So step three, plot the back bearings. Okay. We have another video on how to plot bearings on a topographical map. I'm not going to go in too much depth right now, but real quick and dirty. Let's say I wanted to plot point A, my back bearing, which is 315 degrees. I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna set my bezel to 315. Okay, now I'm gonna go to point A. And just like we did before, I'm gonna put the edge of my compass on point A and I'm gonna rotate. I'm gonna rotate, rotate, rotate until my orienting lines and my north on my bezel are pointing to true north on my map. Okay, so I'm gonna just keep rotating until I have it perfect right there. Okay, now I'm going to take my marker. And I'm gonna draw a line. It can also help to extend that line quite a ways and you'll see why in just a moment. Okay, so here is my A back bearing of 315 degrees. Okay, everybody can see that. So now that's complete. Now we'll go on to B. My back bearing for B is 270 degrees. Same process, I'm gonna come here. I'm gonna set my bezel to 270 degrees or directly due west. I'm gonna go over to point B. And I'm gonna rotate and pivot my compass until north on my bezel 
and my orienting lines are pointing to north on my map. <clears throat> okay, just please refer to that uh, other video on how to plot bearings on a map um, for more instruction on that. But now that I have that down, everything's oriented correctly, now I can draw my line. Okay, and we'll extend it just for good measure here. Okay, so now I've plotted point B back bearing, which was 270 degrees. Okay, and now you can see the, the golden ticket here, guys. Look at where my lines inter intersect, right there. You can see my intersection, X marks the spot, right? This is me. So I'm located right at the intersection of these two lines, you guys. So you can see as long as you know of a couple landmarks in the area and you have a compass, oops, excuse me, and you know how to use it, it's very simple to find your location.